In this video, I'm showing the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 114, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. This week, I've mostly been working on animation. The first new feature is Partial Animation Blending. We could already blend between two different complete animations, but now you can restrict animations to specific parts. For example, I set the bow animation to only affect the arms and head, and layered it on top of the other animations, so you can press B to bow while crouching, running, or doing anything else. I also combined the blended animation layers with ragdoll pose matching to create some active ragdoll behaviors. The first one is an active falling behavior, where the character appears to be consciously trying to protect himself from injury. Here's the limp ragdoll fall for reference. And here's the active falling behavior. Here's the limp ragdoll falling down the hill. And here's an active ragdoll falling down the hill. The active fall behavior could still use a lot of work, but I think it already looks a lot more awake and animated than the standard floppy ragdoll. If you want to test this out in the alpha, you can press Z to fall with an active ragdoll, and M to fall with a limp one. The active falling also works well with fighting, so that characters still look animated when they fall over. Another use for active ragdolls is to express pain. Here I'll turn on the pain ragdolls and demonstrate them with wolf attacks. Instead of dying instantly, this makes them take a few seconds to die from their injuries. I can use the animation blending to adapt the pain response to specific areas. For example, here there is a face clutching pose blended on top of the animation. If you want to test out the pain behavior in the alpha, you can just press N at any time. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.